Yes. All right, so my project was predicting diseases and leaves using image classification. So um, using data sets of leaves infected with various diseases to use um, image classification to sort each of them in, um, according to which diseases they have. So the purpose of, I wanted to give farmers a tool to deal with pests oh, and hunter? killing, yeah. We're still seeing your um, title slide. Is that uh, intended oh. or? No, no, that is not. Oh, can you see it now? Now we can see the purpose slide. All right, good. Great. All right, so um, sorry about that. Um, so I wanted to deal with the rising instances of crop failures around the world. Um, and it was a readily available data set. Um, it was, uh, I downloaded it from Kaggle. It seemed interesting and I wanted to get a better understanding of image classification. So why is this important? Um, this is an article from Crop Failures from IOPS Science. Significant maize yield reductions were found in, when planting was delayed in the Mid-South um, and, and Southeast, as well as the Corn Belt states, mainly due to frequent influence in pest diseases at late planting. Um, this is from another article um, about plant loss. Um, plant pests and diseases are significantly reducing yields of five major food crops across the globe, underscoring the critical need to develop new resistant varieties, according to a new study. Some 137 pathogens and pests cause losses of 10 to 40% in staple crops, wheat, maize, soybeans, rice, and potatoes that provide about 50% of the calorie intake among the world's humans. So the tools and methods that I used was um, RStudio to do my coding. I used the um, Kiros package to do my image classification. The um, EBI image package to read the images and TensorFlow to do the um, machine learning. So here's some of the images of, um, so this is um, on the um, left-hand side, you have the normal image and um, on the right-hand side, you have a, um, a leaf that has been infected with um, bacteria. On the um, left-hand side, you have a leaf that has been infected with a virus. And on the um, right-hand side, you have to you have a leaf that is infected with uh, nematodes. And here you have a, um, a leaf that has been infected with um, fungi. So all I put all the pictures into a single list called test picks. Then for the length of the list, um, which is um, 233 images, I read the images and then I resized them to 20 by 20 pixels. And then I created um, variables to test the data, X train, Y train, X test, and Y test. The um, Y data is an array that holds what category the images are. So um, I assigned what categories the image are for, and since the normal category was assigned a zero, bacteria, a one, et cetera, et cetera. The X train data, um, I put all the, um, image data into a matrix called A. The images and their red values were fed into A, which were used to, in the model. And the model is a QRS sequential model. So um, this is a, um, 
this is sort of a model of how the um, sequential model works. So a sequential model has a linear stack of layers. Uh, it has a single input and a single output, um, my images, and um, takes a series of layers and it makes a model out of it. Um, all layers are made up of nodes, which are the um, images being categorized. I'm using dense layers, meaning that all the nodes from the previous layer connect to all the other nodes of the um, current layer. And the, um, the output layer only has one node, which is the prediction. So it took, took me a lot of tries and experimenting with the model to get it to a high enough accuracy. I made some changes by adding more layers and making the layers more dense. Uh, I also wanted to see what um, color was more accurate because I said um, in the beginning that I used the um, red color image, red colors of the images. So I wanted to see which one was more accurate, the red, the blue, or the green. <clears throat> so this is red. So the validation accuracy is 75%, which is, um, it's okay, not, um, not groundbreaking. Um, this is the accuracy for green. Um, this was pretty shocking because I would have expected green to do a lot better considering that most of the leaves are green. So I would assume that, um, Green will be a better color and the validation accuracy you can see is only around 30%. So this is the um, result for blue. We can see from the graph that it has the highest accuracy out of all the colors. It's around 83%. This is pretty shocking considering um, that there didn't seem to be a lot of blue coloring with the images. Uh, kind of weird. Um, so to summarize, this is important because it can allow farmer to accurately diagnose what problem their plants are having. Um, one thing moving forward is that I would like to get more images of leaves to better train the model because 233 images is not a lot. Um, I would also like to implement um, convolutional neural networks into this. And uh, I have the ultimate goal of making an application so farmers can run this program on their phone, sort of just like take a picture of a leaf and it'll automatically diagnose um, what problem there is. So uh, questions? Uh, where did you get your data set from? Um, Kaggle. I downloaded it from Kaggle. And uh, did you just feed the images, uh, the, the raw image files into the neural network? Um, I um, took uh, I took all the um, red values and at first I took all the red values into, um, so it only uses one, the values of one color of the image, not the actual just image. Um, Okay, so how, how would you change that if you're going to change it, if you were to use convolutional neural networks? Um, I'm not sure yet, which okay. is why it's, um, it's on my to-do list for things uh, to do if I had more time. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions, please? Uh, I had a quick question for, for Hunter. Yep. Um, were all the leaves in the data set the exact same family of tree or bush or something? Um, no. Um, yeah, if we can go back to um, the beginning. Um, well, yeah, you can see that these are, um, especially the virus one, is um, different, um, different leaf species. I don't think. Um, these are the same. 
So I guess a related question is from the class of like any one of these classes. So like normal, um, are there many species of leaf represented in the normal group or are they uh, all different? Are they, are they different? Like for example, um, I'm, I'm what, kind of wondering actually if the classifier is maybe partly identifying different kinds of disease or if they're also identifying just leaf types as well. Um, well, I would, um, well, it didn't come with a, um, uh, the data set didn't come with a label, which is um, what type oh, the leaves are. So I see. That's a good point. Did you happen to look at many of them just to kind of see visually if they're yeah, they're um, looking or different? Um, most of them are um, are different types. So in the normal um, data set, you have different types of leaves in the bacteria data set you have. Yeah, so they have all different kinds of leaves that look sort of similar, but you can tell that they're they're different. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Uh, any further questions, please? Um, Hunter, so I have a quick question about this one. So I'm wondering if you have any preference over uh, class fairs you used, or you have any uh, you use any feature extraction, uh, for example, to extract the feature from those images. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I don't think I did. Okay. Um, so, so do you think that will be useful? Uh, I, I believe you are now using the, the pixel value from the image at the input. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it should work because you have the image, uh, I mean, the leaf right in the center. So most of them are the necessary information you're going to need. Um, yeah, that's why the result is good. But um, and maybe you can consider some other class pairs in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would definitely. Sure. I would definitely do that if I had more time. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you to go to go over the, the leaf slides again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this seems to be a very clean data set. Because yeah, the yeah, the um, yeah, the um, yeah, the images are very um, they're very good and uh, are all of them in focus as as the ones that you're showing? Um, yeah, all of them are in focus. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions, please? If not, uh, let's thank Hunter uh, and invite our next